Jared Poland. Frono's Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom edition video. This time we have a solo one and it's brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. And if you haven't checked out this 30 for 30, you can go over to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can get a free trial of Adobe Lightroom right there. And you can also download this DNG file that I'm about to see for the first time and edit. So here we go. Let's see it right now. Oh. A very photojournalistic shot right here. It's a kid in a subway car. First off, let's critique the photo and just say that this is a great photo. You have, you have leading lines. Well, not just leading lines, but you have symmetry right in the middle, same left to right. But then you have like out of focus people drawing you in. So is this gonna be a color? Is this gonna be a black and white? I don't know. I'm gonna pull out some color first, but I'm sensing that I wanna go black and white. I really am as I continue to edit in color. <laughs> you never know. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start off with color now that I see it, because this is what happens. As you edit, you start to see different things occur. Oh, the black and white could be cool too. But I'm gonna start with the color, and then we'll, and then we'll switch. We'll do two edits here. And that's a great thing, again, about raw files, is that you can do any type of tweak that you want and try it over and over again, because you could make something like this called a snapshot. I'm gonna change it to color, and I'm gonna show you something that I can do with that in just a minute. That white, just tweaking, shadows, boom, ah. See, this is something when you're editing you have to think about. If I was to brighten up my shadows, which I just did here, I raised the shadow levels, I'm bringing up this leather jacket, I'm bringing up this person over here, and that's a nose. If I had to guess, I think that is a nose right there, and it becomes more of a distraction. So you wanna be careful, shadows going back away. This could also be a case where I could play with a vignette to draw me in to the image more. That's where it would work. So let me get down here, get to vignetting. That would remove it, and then this would add some more. I wanna get rid of that nose. See, that nose, and gone, off, on. See that? We got rid of what was in the, the, the distracting things in the image, and now that's making me focus on this boy right in the middle. If I wanted to do more, I could probably sit here and, and, and do something like this. We can see what, nah, this, oh boy, that was extreme. That's not going to work too well. The computer's not going to know what to do with that. I can tell you that much. Actually, yeah. So I'm just going to click on it. We're going to get rid of it as soon as it stops working. Go, leave, get out of here. Poof, gone. Hold on. Poof, gone. Yep, that was my mistake. Shouldn't do that. Um, but this drew me right into the image. Now I'm going to focus more on getting my color right. Subway lights, boom. Don't want to make it too white. I think that's pretty realistic. Got my nice contrast. We have this. Oh, and by the way, remember that color snapshot that I took? Well, I don't want to click on it again because it's going to go back to what it was before I made all these changes. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go update with current settings. And now it's updated with my current settings. I love that function right there. This is pretty good. I just think it's a little too green. So I'm going to go with my magenta right here. All right. It looks like he's looking right at the photographer. He may be, or it may just be a great shot that they captured it this way. Just a little warmth. Nice. Draws us right into there. Ah, New York City subway. Says it right there. Cool. So I've got that. Let me update this one more time. And then what I want to do is I want to do a quick one as a black and white. Oh, that's really nice. Let's see what we can do differently than the color. See? We're also getting rid of that. Let me see if that would have done that in color better. Mm. We can hit the snapshot. Mm. Ah, it's darkening him up a little bit. So, I like this. I'm going to actually play with the color again. I'm going to go back to medium. I'm going to update these settings right here. Update. Let's go back to black and white. And just finish this up. Let's see if there's some thing that we could do to this. 
Don't know if a crop would be any good. I think the, the composition is perfect. Look, you click on the, on the crop button, the kit is right in the middle. It's perfect, you have the nice symmetry. I wouldn't mess with this. The only thing that I could see doing is if you were gonna go to Instagram and you want it to be a square or something like that, you could do that. But I like this the way it is. Uh, I don't wanna crop, but we could just play around. We could crop, we could do it just to show you what would happen. Make sure you line them up just like you were doing. You could hit that button and boom you're drawn into it even more. So I'm gonna do this twice. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as the black and white with a crop, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my crop right here. Let me go back to as shot, boom. I'm gonna save this as a black and white also. We'll call it non-crop. And we've got the three different ones here. We've got the color, nice. The black and white non-crop, and then the black and white crop. There are so many different things you can do with the raw files, especially here in Lightroom. You could sit here for hours upon hours doing so many different things to your files, but I'm not gonna sit here for hours. I wanted to make this quick, but you can sit there for hours because you can download this raw file over at fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download the DNG, do whatever you want with it, tweak it, spend three days on it if you really want to. But if you don't have Lightroom yet, you can also download a free trial right over there and you can play along with all of the 30 for 30 videos over on the site. And that is where I'll leave it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.